The market close on Friday was in the green, which uh, would have been something that not everyone would have predicted start of the day or at least mid-morning, where you saw a bit of a dive. But overall, a range-bound day, which saw the Nifty ending um, at the 21,782 mark. The Sensex also up um, not even half a percent. The big story, of course, through the day was the afternoon jump up in the Bank Nifty, which has closed about a percent and a half up. In fact, the Bank Nifty, after uh, you know having quite a poor week, has ended the week well. I just want to quickly pull up a weekly chart of the Nifty, Sensex, and the Bank Nifty to get you a sense of how this entire week has been. And for the Nifty, you've been marginally down. Very, very tepid week, I would say. You started off well, but not too much happening after that uh, not too much action overall in uh, the bank nifty as well that's why i'm saying good recovery today uh, week on week the bank nifty was about two percent down uh, so if one part of the story one side of the story was the bank nifty the other side of the story uh, today is how the broader market seemed to crack in fact i would say the small cap and mid cap indices recovered from uh, the worst levels of the day the nifty mid cap is has ended up closing about a percentage down but was definitely worse off about a percent and a half, nearly 2% down at some point. The small cap index has also seen a bit of a crack. And the culprits here seem to be public sector run stocks. One sec the sector or one set of companies which have ha been having a great time uh, today were dumped by investors. Some of it is based on what their results look like and the biggest culprit there is PFC. The guidance outlook for this company has been reduced quite dramatically. That was revealed in the con call by the management um, the night before and that's why you've seen an 8.5% drop. REC follows in the footsteps but overall a bout of weakness there in public sector stocks. Uh, the trend this entire week has been action depending on corporate results and that's likely to continue next week as well as we head towards the close of quarterly results season.